Welcome back, dear friends. This is episode two, recorded very shortly after episode one. I was correct. Dawn was fast approaching. First episode was 17 minutes. Touch shorter than I was imagining. Hello, creeper. I don't think I've killed a bad mob yet. Let's get on with that. Hi. I was able to block the damage. Didn't even touch my helmet's um, durability. I only recently discovered you could block that. I was well pleased. So it looks like episode one recorded okay. I still, as I say, am not a fan of the microphone. I will get it replaced at some point. I won't tell you why I don't like it, because then you'll possibly spend the whole episode hearing that issue, which I would, which I do. So that looks like regular forest, covered forest, swamp, birch forest. I think the safest route, just such a little bit of plains. The safest route is going to be between swamp and birch, because covered forest, as you may know, is pretty dangerous. I like it. It's attractive. My my aesthetic, which has become kind of a popular word lately, at least online, the way people used to say such and such is my Patronus, or such and such is my spirit animal. They're starting to say such and such is my aesthetic, which I think is more fun somehow. But uh, my aesthetic tends to be on the dark, creepy side. Um, Build-wise, I like Victorian things and castles, Edwardian things, asylums. You may hear the sound of minor construction in the background. Our uh, neighbor across the way is pounding on his roof, which he seems to be doing pretty constantly, and I don't know. I mean, like, for most of the last year, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. There's a good chance he doesn't either. I say he, I don't know. A little tiny glitch in the water there. Might as well kill some pigs. So my my plan is to explore until I find a place I really like and then start building in it. Still didn't set the timer. Okay, it's say 40 past. So top of the hour? We'll be near the 20 minute mark. Yuck. Sometimes my Minecraft self seems terribly clumsy. Hmm. Kind of a neat little valley. It's a red mushroom. I'm gonna go get it. I know I found lots of food, but um, if I settle in, I can make a mushroom farm. And mushroom stew is good eaten. <coughs> Often I have a hard time finding a red mushroom. Pretty sure that's a red mushroom I see up there. Hi, bunnies. That's a baby. I'm actually fairly afraid of running into the uh, the killer bunny of... Oh, I can't remember the name. Barog? Bog? Not Balrog. Um, which you may or may not know. One out of 200 uh, bunnies. Rabbits. Uh, spawns. Roughly, as um, a an extremely dangerous bunny rabbit, which is a nod to Monty Python and the Holy Grail. That is indeed the mushroom I hoped it was. Excelente. So anything that nods to Monty Python, good by me. 
Good by me. So birch trees, birch forests are a little repetitive. Pretty sure the story about birch trees I told in the first episode that didn't get recorded. So I'll do it now. If I'm repeating myself, forgive me. When I was a kid, I was allergic to many things. Airborne pollens and um, animal dander dust. And... Um, So they took me to the doctor, and they gave me one of those... One of those tests. Um, I think there may be other tests now, but at the time it was a, uh, a scratch test. They put, like, lots of little scratches on my back. And uh, each one had a bit of an allergen, and then we'd see which ones get all puffy and red. Which actually sounds kind of mean, now that I think about it. But it's a good test, um, and they discovered, in addition to the various things that we knew I was allergic Windows just stole focus there. Uh, the things I knew I was allergic to, we knew, because I was nine or so. Uh, in addition to those things, we had discovered that I was deathly allergic to birch. To the point where, if I were to walk up to one, then some of the kind of white dusting that comes on birch bark, if I was to become it, what's up, sheep? If I were to become in contact with that, I might die. And they didn't tell me that as a kid. In fact, birch trees were my favorite. I grew up in Maine. Pine trees are cool, but they're everywhere. Making a bed. And birch trees were just the most different and interesting to look at. So, you know, I... I later, um, I'd, like, pull the... Um, the peeling bark off and write on it. Um, there's one they call a paper birch for that very reason. Um, but I didn't know that a couple of years earlier I had been so deathly allergic I, I could have gone into anaphylactic shock and died. But fortunately, the uh, allergy treatments worked just fine. He looked like he was wearing sunglasses for a minute. Um... That's where they, they give you very, 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 very small shots of the allergen in question, and your body kind of gets used to it and stops fighting. That's what an allergy is. It's not that the thing itself is poisonous or is hurting you, but that for some reason it has decided that the stuff in question is an enemy. And so it creates um, sort of antibodies for the stuff. And any time it's encountered, the body does its very best to fight it off. Of course, because it's not an infection, there's no way to fight it off. You can't fight off pollen. Not internally, anyway. Ow. So it keeps trying and keeps trying, and the really bad stuff... Can I get that? I can. You can die from it, because the... It triggers the, the reaction so hard that you wind up losing the ability to breathe and your heart races until it damages itself. Which seems like bad planning on the 
part of putting together the human body, don't you think? But it must be adaptive to some degree. Um, one theory is that normally the human body has a lot more to fight off. Parasites and that sort of thing. And so, um, sort of an overdrive setting can be necessary, even if it misses the mark sometimes. I think I may smelt some ore. Where'd the ore go? There. Oh, the sun's already setting again. I don't want to go down there. I think I'm going to need to make a new... Well, I'm going to wait and get a new pick when I have... Three iron. If you hear any... Oh, I think I already said this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I seem inclined to repeat myself. Um, yeah, there's... There's work happening in the back. Make a little hidey hole. A hidey hidey hole. Oop. Um, kind of close us in from the outside anyway. nearly as efficient as coal, but for the moment, it's all I have. I'm using the stone pickaxe, by the way, because I... Oh, I want to use it up. Before I start working with the iron pickaxe. Oh, since I'm burning all the wood, I probably don't have the sticks to make a an iron sword. Start on armor, though. Oh, I got plenty of sticks. Yay, iron sword. Uh, the texture pack is something special made for a server called Cube Realms. There's a sheep. Of course there's a sheep. What else would there be? There's more coal. Which is good because I'm out of torches. Eh. Oop, in shot. At. Yay. Um, great server. It's a whitelist, which means you have to apply, and only people who uh, have been accepted, jeez, another one, uh, get on, and it seriously reduces the um, presence of griefers and jerks, who are generally the same people. It's a survival server. It's mostly vanilla. Um, the only plugins are uh, in aid of roleplay, because some people like to do that. There are, you know, knights and queens and kings and quests. There's some quest plugins. All right. Uh, but if you want to play completely vanilla, it is a perfect place to do that. You can go caving and do all the normal vanilla stuff. Plenty of room. Still plenty of space. Zombie. That sheep. Keep hearing the sheep walking around. Since it 
sound so heavy compared to most things. Kinda makes me nervous. It's called Cube Realms. And the, um, the texture pack was created for Cube Realms. Torches. Excellent. I need those. More iron. Plenty of food, so I won't use any coal right now. Where'd the torches go? There's many sheep down here. This must cut to the surface. Whew, so much iron. I don't want to go into that darkness right now, though. I heard someone fall. Oh, is that the opening to the surface? I don't know how all the sheep are getting down here. I expect I'll find out when one falls on me. Really enjoying all the iron and coal in here. Definitely worthwhile to stop in. I leave the one high hole because it's fairly safe, but I get one of those baby zombies. They can fit in. They will kick my butt. Too bad as long... Yeah, there we go. That's where the sheep are getting in. Not too bad as long as I see them coming. But if I can't, they're fast. They can get a lot of hits in. Alright, a bit more iron. the zombie coming from through the wall. Sounds like... Jeez, that sounds close. I wonder if that's the surface there. Yes. That sounds like grass, not dirt. It's probably walking right overhead. It's disconcerting to hear it that close. Not being able to see it. Well... I'm going to be all set for iron for ages. All right, it is approaching the 20 minute mark. At least as far as I'm guessing. So I'll take all my goodies back. To my little workspace. Set things to smelting. kind of block myself in until dawn and until dawn dear friends i bid you adieu <laughs>